Hello and welcome to another episode of Train Simulator 2020, where today we're going to be taking a Class 59 from Allington uh, ARC sidings to Watley Quarry uh, for Part 1, but we're going as far as Ho Junction. Rather looking forward to this, I've never, uh, well, I've done the, obviously I've gone up and down the route a couple of times now, but uh, other than that, I've not really done an awful lot else. This is handy, 90% off. Um, okay, that'd be rude not to. But, uh, speaking of which, if you would like to help support the channel, you can do. And the way you can do that is by donating to the Pebble link found down below. Any and all funds from there go immediately back into the channel to help better the content only from this, but for other projects I have in the pipeline. It also goes towards getting future content for this as well, which uh, really does go an awful long way. And before I, uh, I do carry on, I'd like to uh, give a, uh, a big mention to uh, David Miller who uh, contributed to the channel the other day so very very big thank you uh, to that that was very very much appreciated I never disclose uh, the amount that people donate um, just know that any and all donations given truly truly are greatly appreciated they, they really are because at the end of the day that is your money that you are donating to myself, which I can then go into making this channel all the more better. So uh, you guys really are the fighting force behind this. You guys give me the ability to do this uh, on a daily basis. Um, also means that when I start my trains out videos again, it means I can go further afield around the country. Because obviously it's an expensive hobby, you know, having to get trains hither and yonder, driving back and forth. So, um, you guys really do help out. Okay, good morning, driver. We are ready for the long haul this morning, and it's raining. Jolly good. You'll be in charge of this freight service, taking empty aggregates from Pearly Foster Yeoman to Ho Junction, up yard, starting from Tombridge West Yard. You may depart when ready. Well, it will do. I'm just going to turn that down. I'm going to do that. Do that. Keep that on. Do that. Do that. I think I've not really got much of a chance to uh, to faff around with things. We've got a, it's a relatively small train. It's a DB Schenker 59202. There we go. Seeing as I'm not actually going right the moment, I'm not stuck to a timetable. Should we have a cheeky look and see? Uh, Timber wagons is on the freight wagons are a bit JHA wagons. Excellent. So that's uh, what we got here. Three, six, seven. Nice type one. Hello. Alan, uh, Alan Meadows Taylor MD Dip Rail Limited. Excellent. Okay. So what we're going to do. <laughs> okay, right. Anyway. I suppose I've just got to keep holding that until it releases. This is going to be an interesting braking system. This could be quite interesting. Well, we'll keep it that. Let's see how this does. Okay, we're off. we can do at this stage, we'll just keep on coasting. Do a cheeky peek outside, the weather is completely pants. Oh, 
Oh, it's a 365 that just went past us then. Or 375 even. Burke. Is that 304? Excellent. So because we're running empty, it means that uh, acceleration-wise shouldn't be too much of an issue. There's eight notches in this, okay. I may need to be cautious for wheel slip. I'm also just going to notch this down. I need to be cautious with this. I'll keep, I don't know. <clears throat> Obviously, I've got to hold that down. Okay. It gives. It's giving me an idea of. Oh, hello. Yeah, it's giving me an idea of how this train's braking system works. So the, whole, the longer I hold that up, the more brakes come into effect. Okay, that's fine. That's all I need. This isn't going to be a perfect run by any stretch of the imagination. Still be enjoyable nevertheless. So with really on walls with a 375 you could really start slowing down when you're right on top of the speed limits but I think with this it's going to be a case of uh, going to be some serious trial and error for the majority of this run we'll see what we can do Getting the acceleration worked out, it's just going to be a case of uh, getting the brakes sorted so I know really what's going on.
Okay, so we're going to be going through Snodland a minute late, but that was due to me uh, not really understanding how the braking system works in the Gas 59. messing around at the very start without really considering that uh, there would be a time limit as the session progressed. I was just, I spent more time fucking around. Hopefully for the remainder of this we can make up some time. Well, we've still got some positive points out of that, so it's not all bad. Still due through uh, hauling uh, over a minute late. Unfortunately, I think this is all uh, all down to him messing around at the very start of the proceedings. A constant, uh, constantly aware that speed changes could come up. So, uh, once I understand how the brakes work in this locomotive, I think we'll be absolutely fine. Still getting some points through this, so uh, better than nothing. And it looks like we're actually going to be due through Cuxton early. The way things are currently going. Are we doing on time? Uh, the way things currently stand, we're going to be passing through right on the money. So hopefully we can keep things that way. Oh, 
Yeah, we're doing a few seconds late, but uh, it's not too bad. Now we're due through nice and early. Okay, we're going by Strood next. And we are due through Strood Lakes. <laughs> oh dear, that goes by saying, doesn't it? Well, Sam expects some, 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 Jesus. I'm expecting some speed changes. I've really struggled with that. I don't know why. Everything just seemed to go slightly wrong for me in the vocabulary department. Go through some pipes if I can get a number. Hold on. Uh, three, seven, five, three, seven. Excellent. Okay, 25 limit coming up in under a mile, so, right, if I do that, just mark it up by, notch it by one. This will give you an idea, if I do it in notches instead of holding it, i ascertain really how things are going. It looks like notching it up just by the one, Actually, did okay, so why would we? Just gonna release it. Gonna coast a bit. Once we get closer, I'll then start slowing down even more. So I've got 15 coming up after that. As we will uh, coast our way through Strood. Maybe I do have to hold it then. We're now going to full service. Actually, that's fine because I need to go to um, 15 mile an hour anyway.
nice and gentle. Weather is still completely pants like I was last time. Yeah, we'll do through high and next, and uh, we are we are going to be doing late. Well, the majority of this is going to be doing late, but that was down to me uh, from fooling around at the very start of the show. New World's Longest Tunnel. There's a slight gap coming up. They might as well not bother. Should have just filled the whole thing in. something else coming down. So there's a 465. Please note you might be required to ask permission from the signal to pass signals to enter the yard for and for shunting around the yard. Press tab to do this. Okay, that's fine.
At least he gives you a fair bit of it. Whoa, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is a problem. This is definitely a problem. Oh dear. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Ooh, that could, have been a pro I, I could have been quite naughty. Now, admittedly, I did miss one of the whistleboards, so I'll do it here. Well, there's plenty of things here, isn't there? You've got, you've got EWS wagons, you've got uh, DB Shanker at the time, which is obviously now DB Cargo UK. Too much where I stopped to be fair, does it? A bit blustery. So, well then what? Drop off, ah, drop off the wagons. Okay, that's cool. Pop in the cab. Just release that. We do a cheeky hop outside, I need to ascertain where I'm going, is down there, that's absolutely fine. What I will need to do is make sure that those sidings, or the, the um, points even, are switched appropriately. It's already switched in my favour, so I suspect I may have to uh, flip them for my return, unless the signaler is going to do it automatically for me. There's a fly buzzing around me, and it is really irritating. What I'm going to do, I'm going to try and line up alongside the consist, not at the either, either end, but um, 
I can get somewhere in the middle that I'll do. Or down this end works perfectly fine. Okay, so now I've got a couple of tight ends, that's fine, so I'll now release that. Come on. I know I need to ascertain that signals in front of me are going to be well obviously I'll be able to uh, ask permission to pass a danger line to make sure that the points are set correctly as well now I suspect I have to set these points manually so it allows me permission to uh, proceed that's what I may do since I don't think they would have been set automatically for me. Obviously, I know the signals haven't. So, if I slow down enough. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. Okay, let's hop out then. Okay, so points are I'm not sure what's happening now. Okay. Oh, I don't know what's happening there. What is the state of play here? Okay, can I actually interfere with these points? Uh, okay, this is going to be problematic. Una memento. Don't actually know if it tells me in here. I'm not sure ahead. Yeah. Quick junction behind. Shift. I wonder. I've got to sit on the cab for this. I can't do anything with that. Hold on. Let me look outside once more. Yeah, I've definitely got to go back up to there again. Well... Hold on, what's going on there? That's... How is it ascertaining which... Okay, right, here we go. I can't even stop. I can't even ask permission to pass a similar danger now. What's going on here? No, seriously, why can't I do that? I can't and I can't interfere with the junctions. You normally even it even allows you just to click on them and change them, but I can't do that. I cannot interfere with any of this at all. Hold on, let me let me zoom out. Let me go down.
holding down G, if that's doing anything for me. I'm getting nothing. I can't interfere with any of this. See, again, I cannot, in I cannot interfere. I'm genuinely confused. The only, the only way I can do this is if I now fail this scenario. That's the only way I can do this now. I mean, I've got to this. The scenario will end when I hook up to those wagons. We know this. That is how the scenario ends when I hook up to them. So, fundamentally, we've done this. We've done this as a success. However, okay, hold on. Try to shift G. Hold on. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright. That's there. That's there. Try it there. Do that. I'll tell you what. See. We're not getting... We're not getting anything out of this at all. All we can do is, unfortunately, fail the scenario. I cannot control... I cannot do anything. So, we're going to have to fail it, unfortunately. There we go. I can't... It, it won't let me interface with them at all. So, um, yeah, that's that. Which is interesting, because it makes me wonder what's going to happen when I try the second part. It's interesting. It allowed me to interface with the points coming down, but those at the southern end of that yard... I couldn't play with. It would not let me do it. Well, all we can do is uh, move on to part two, um, where hopefully things will be a little bit more smoother. But fundamentally, that scenario was completed. We are all in agreement. And yeah, that's that one. So um, a bit of a bombshell to end there, I'm afraid. Uh, not the way I wanted to do it. Unfortunately, it's something that has been done. So, um, well, uh, thank you all very much for watching. It is greatly appreciated. If, bizarrely, you enjoyed that one, then please do leave a like. And uh, if you're new to the channel, um, link a subscription if you'd be so kind. And um, I will catch you in part two, where hopefully things are a tad smoother. Take care, guys. Goodbye.